mentioned it the earlier, uh, you know, earlier on in the episode. Uh, it is Halloween here. I guess once this goes up, about a, you know, a few days uh, from when this episode will go up. And um, with that said, I thought we'd do something a little bit fun here, a little bit different. We talk about a lot of sci-fi, a lot of uh, superhero stuff, a lot of comic book stuff. I thought it'd be fun to talk about some uh, some horror movies, some scary movies. Oh, and uh, just in the uh, in the spirit of Halloween. Uh, you know, I don't do too much. I don't do too much talking. You know, t- too much talking about horror movies. But I am a big fan of of horror movies. So, with that said, I thought it would be fun to sort of rattle off. You know, maybe not in any particular order. You know, whatever. This this sh- we're pretty loose on this show. So, Loosey goosey. Uh, you know, if you wanted to, I, I think you had mentioned that you had like three that you wanted to talk about. Oh, I've got several. Well, Let me pull out this list. Bob I figured I figured uh we could do maybe top 3. Neferatu. If you have uh I've got a couple of like honorable mentions that I could that I could list off really quick. First of all, like what I wanted to say is in my opinion, I think like cross cross like genre things, I think they count as well. Like if you were to ask me if Alien or Aliens is a horror movie, I would say yes. Even though that's technically a sci-fi movie. Um, in my true. opinion, I would, I would say, I would say yes. It's possible to be scared by them, right? Exactly. I Harry think Potter could be a horror movie. Maybe. Um, with that said, the first, the first like honorable mention that I had, which I guess it would also like kind of be in my top five. The reason why I wanted to mention that is because the one that I was going to mention is uh, is Zombieland, which maybe isn't. 100% a horror movie, but I love Zombie Land. Okay, so I mean, maybe it's not a full horror movie, it's a horror comedy. Uh, but that movie is uh it's in my opinion, it's it's endlessly rewatchable anytime that movie's on TV. I'm always um always sitting down to watch it or it's on in the background or whatever. Um the way that movie sort of s- plays on the whole zo- uh, zombie double tap trope yeah exactly they, they have fun with it um but it does have horror elements to it and uh yeah, there's a lot of zombie killing right exactly so um I, de- I definitely did want to mention you know we can do that real do this real quick the little honorable mention thing or whatever but yeah zombie land is one for me did you have any outside of your top three that maybe you wanted to to mention outside the top three. maybe in your top five whatever I don't, I don't i don't know i can't think off the top of my head uh Friday the thirteenth. The uh, I watched it recently. Probably the first and second one would be honorable mentions. Okay, they they, they don't hold up for me because they're they're so goofy. Yeah, now that they're older. Right. Uh, but I think like when you watch them uh, originally, you know that first time, like when before special effects really took in, I think it had more of a horror element. Right. To it. Yeah. Um, Kill you, them, mommy. That definitely. I I am not super well versed in sort of those classic. Sort of like what are they, like slasher? Um, yeah, I I prefer like the slasher films when I, I think of horror. Like when I was watching, because I was like, well, this is a possibility of it happening. Someone right. just you know goes crazy and starts stabbing a bunch of people and well, slashing them up. Isn't the first Friday the Thirteenth like Jason doesn't even pop up in that movie, doesn't he? Well, he <laughs> actually. That's all he does is pop up. Is it? Yeah, his mom does the killing in that right, one. right, right, right. Because uh, you know they're trying to reopen Crystal Lake, and then at the very end, when the girl escaped and chopped the mom's head off with a machete, she's on the uh, little boat or whatever, and Jason pops up out the water. Apparently, he'd been alive the whole time, or maybe he hadn't been alive the whole time. Who knows? And he just pops up out, drags her down, and they they save her from drowning. And she's like, "What about the little boy? Did you find him? What little boy? The one that tried to drown me." No, there's no boy. I guess he's still out there. <laughs> um, no, I uh, I love the classic the classic slasher movies. I don't think I have any of them on my list because I'm a little bit I'm a little bit weird when it comes to that kind scary of scary movies on your list, isn't it? No, scary movie is not on my list. Um, but it could have been if you know if if I was really into that movie. But uh, if I had if I had to mention another honorable mention for me, um, the uh, this one is one that really got under my skin when I first saw it, and it still kind of bothers me to this day. Uh, have you ever heard of The Strangers? I've heard of it. I don't think I've watched it. The uh, The Strangers, let me just pull it up. The Strangers was a movie that came out um, a couple, maybe like 10 years ago. 
Uh, 2008. So yeah, that's about right. It's, oh, is it's, this the one where they break in and the family's in there? It's a pretty typical yes. like home invasion uh, kind of kind of thriller. Uh, you know, obviously, kind of it's got that slasher vibe to it. But dude, the these the way these I don't, I don't these these uh, antagonists. I don't even know what you, these assailants. The way that they uh, sort of. Uh, antagonize our main characters throughout the entirety of the film. It, like anytime I'm ever like at home at night and it's, and it's like quiet and like, maybe you hear something like, this is what I think about, especially this scene right here. Like it always bothers me. I know you probably can't see it, but there's a scene in the movie where uh, Liv Tyler actually is like up in the, up in the, uh, the foreground. And just in the background, you see the, uh, like sort of the main uh, dad of, of the family uh, just watching her from the background and she has no idea that he's there. Dude, that, that stuff, like, cause I get this, I get this vibe like all the time. Like sometimes when I'm by myself, that maybe like I'm being watched and stuff like this has always gotten under my skin. Well, and, do you have a microwave in your house? Yeah. Well, the government's watching. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you're, I think you're right about that, but yeah, this, um, this this movie here, it's it's a, I mean, it's, I definitely don't think it's on many people's uh, top list, and I don't know exactly where it would fall if I had to like do like a top ten or whatever. But it's it's definitely one that popped into my head when I was thinking about this earlier today, and it's one that I want to uh, revisit again uh, soon because I think um, I think they definitely did a good job with the strangers. So I didn't know if you had any other. The strangers. Is that on your list? Um, you know, this this is just that's just another honorable mention. Um, it's just outside the list. So I guess it would definitely be in my top ten, but I'm not exactly sure where. I I have a set top three. Um I can't remember which one it was. Uh, I just remember I love the way it started. It's all for you, Damien. And then it's like this uh this twenty something year old uh dark haired lady and she just jumps to uh <laughs> jumps to her demise. But one thing I remember not liking at all. The Omen? Yeah, The Omen. That's what that was. Uh, is, God, I can't remember the name of it. All these people are just flinging themselves to death. And, uh, uh, oh, this is the movie. You can probably remember. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, awful, awful movie. Oh, that's that's not on your list. No, it's not oh, on my okay. list. I did not like that movie. That's your dishonorable mention. Dishonorable mention. Dishonorable <laughs> discharge. Drag me to hell. Dishonorable mention as well. Really? You yeah. didn't like that one? I did not. Man, I, I like the Sam Raimi after Spider-Man 2, I think. Did that one? I didn't care for it. Yeah. Well, You shamed me? <laughs> you shamed me? I don't know. It was just so funny. Like, she was... She was such a turd nugget to uh, that lady, but I don't know if she deserved to be dragged to hell. Turd nugget. Yeah, she was kind of she was like kind of rude to the lady, uh, to the gypsy woman, and then she has to go to hell for it. Yeah, I mean that, that's a little bit much. That's kind of extreme. Yeah, but I guess, <laughs> There's I guess people doing worse things every day. I guess it goes to show, like I guess you can never be too careful. So yeah. Anyways, um, so I guess the, I guess I can jump into my to my number three then, and just like. Uh, just like what when I mentioned um, when I mentioned uh, Zombieland earlier, this is not a comedy, but I could see like if you look this movie up on Wikipedia, on Wikipedia, it's not going to say it's a horror movie. It's going to say it's a thriller movie. But this movie freaked me out as a kid, and it still kind of freaks me out now, even though it's not exactly scary. But it's Signs by M Night Shyamalan. Yeah, um, with you know the alien Shyamalan one. Ding dong. That uh, this that movie it uh, it's one of those ones that like really triggered me into <laughs> triggered into like really my my like kind of fascination and love with movies like I, I um so did I you love Sixth Sense as well I love Sixth Sense but I don't consider that a horror movie as much as I consider like it, honestly I, if if well, no, I mean, Sixth Sense is probably more of a horror movie than this is, to be honest. But Signs, to me, I don't know. It hits me like right in the right in the right in the. I don't. I don't even know. It hits me right in the spot, and uh, all of these movies that I'm mentioning in my list are movies that, when they come on TV, rewatchability is a big thing for me, 
And these are all movies that if they were to come on TV, I would have to stop what I was doing and sit and watch them for a minute and, you know, uh, at least, you know, try and maybe even finish them. I don't, I don't know. But um, Signs, um, before M. Night Shyamalan sort of went off the rails, and now, which is now he's kind of making his comeback. With, Don't uh, call it a comeback. With his little, uh, with his little uh, recent horror movies and uh, The Visit and Split. That was on my list. Really? Yeah, I like Split. Um, I haven't seen The Visit yet. Split, the Visit's pretty good. I just saw Split recently. Really? And I, it's you not a... It, and yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to... No, you're good, dude. And I don't, I don't think it's a Number horror movie yet. per per se. I think it's, I like it because it's such a a sad movie. Split. Yeah, it's sad in the aspect where the uh, the main uh, protagonist, the young lady that survives, she's she's not only dealing with this monster that's attacking her. Well, uh, in monster this, and also kind of like a supervillain. Yeah, yeah, supervillain. Spoiler but alert. also, uh, when she's like released, when she escapes, she has to go to an even worse monster. And I feel like she never got any kind of relief. And I feel like that's what the scariest thing. You're talking sur- about like her stepdad or uncle or yeah, whoever. Well, one of the same now. Yeah. You know, let's play animals. Like, and then you know when she had the shotgun on him. That it was just more of a sick movie. It's not a horror movie per se. Like, you know, the first time I watched. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. like those, like probably the first, second, maybe even the third, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's funny. Uh, it, it reminds me a little, like, gave way to like. Uh, it's not quite like Chucky. Chucky's always been funny to me. Yeah, it's yeah. like a comedy, but it's like a comedy gore fest. And <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street was probably like, I guess, would you consider that a slasher film too? Oh yeah, yeah, Psych- a psychological thriller as well. Yeah. I mean, because Freddy, like, yeah, because yeah. if you get scared by scary movies, you're not going to sleep after watching that. Yeah, I slept like a baby. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to sleep. This guy's not coming to get me. Right. There ain't no brothers in those movies. <laughs> One of the things that I actually forgot to I put for and I don't know where this would have fell on my list. Obviously not in the top. Eh, it might be. It, might, it would definitely be in my top 10. But The Conjuring, I don't, I don't It just popped into my yeah, head. The Conjuring, that was a that was like classic. Um Sort of like paid homage to classic horror movies like, um, what am I thinking of? Uh, the With the little girl, she gets possessed by the demon. Um, what am I thinking of? Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot the name of that. It's not Poltergeist. How dare you? Um, I can't believe I forgot the name of that movie. Um, name that movie. House of a Thousand Corpses. What am I thinking of? Uh, the Exorcist. God, why can't I think of the freaking Exorcist? Um, Halloween's a good one too. I love uh, Halloween. I think the first and second one. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, that's going back to sort of that classic, sort of like eight seventy eighties like slasher vibe with uh, with Halloween. Um, and uh, it, you know, did you see the the newest it? From the new movies? it is awesome, dude. Yeah, it. It um, we all live down here. <laughs> no, I'm it um it is just sort of it is definitely would be on in my top ten, probably just outside because I've only seen it the one time. I haven't really had time to to marinate it on to marinate on it yet. Mm. But at the same time, I also would consider that movie isn't super isn't super duper scary. I'm not saying movies like Zombieland and Signs are, but I think Sign or It is. I think it's just a good movie. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a good sort of like, it almost kind of reminded me of like a Goonies or something like that. Yeah, a little I, bit. It, it does have that Goonies feel to it with probably a little bit more uh, danger. I'm, I'm looking at the list that you pull up, like best horror movies, like The Shining. It's got to be on the list. And uh, Psycho. Oh, American Psycho. Yeah. With uh, with Batman, yes, dude, I love that <laughs> Christian movie. Bale. Yeah, I like the, the little dance he does. Yeah, um, would you consider that a horror movie? That's just sort of like just that's a, just a fun movie. That's just a, a gory movie. Is it gory? It just seemed like a fun afternoon. <laughs> um, I just think like you know when you just let yourself go, and then uh, the best part about that uh, American Psycho, you wonder did any of this really happen? Is he getting away with it because he's wealthy? Or was it all in his mind? 
Right. Well, you don't know. Like, he definitely killed some people. Um, no, for sure. And uh, I'll have to go back and revisit American Psycho. I haven't seen it in a while. It's really good. Um, but for me, if I was to go on to a number two on my list, this is another one. Some of you guys may think this is sacrilege, including this in a freaking top three horror movies, when this is so maybe not a horror movie. But uh, Shaun of the Dead. That's funny. It's it's funny. It's a comedy, but it's a horror comedy at the same time. And just like with Zombieland, it sort of th- throws that zo- you know that that zombie movie cliche kind of on its head, and and has a lot of fun with it. It would be sort of like if you and your buddies like entered into the zombie apocalypse. Like, what would you do, kind of thing. Um, but it definitely and and just like with the rest of this list, the reason why it's so high on my list is because I literally could watch like if. I could watch that movie every day if, if it came on every day. So and is uh, Hocus Pocus your number one? <laughs> Hocus Pocus is not my number one. I put um, a spell on you. But no, at Shaun of the Dead, say what you want. It's not a full horror movie. It's a it's horror a good movie. It's a horror comedy, but it definitely has horror vibe to it. It's uh it's it's in my opinion, I think it's one of the better zombie movies, which I I'm actually I didn't realize there were so many zombie movies that I was partial to because uh, you got this, you got uh, Zombieland, which I mentioned earlier. 28 Days Later would definitely be in. Just watched that uh, about two days ago. Really? Yeah. It's got a Michonne in there, too. I noticed that a lot of dystopian uh, movies uh, or apocalyptic movies have, uh, you know, black leading ladies oh. in it. Oh, oh, that was, oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, that, that might be where they got the inspiration for yeah. For Michonne, it's from that know. movie. Um, but yeah, number two for me, just real, you know, just throwing it out there real quick. Shaun of the Dead. It's uh, one of my favorite movies. Any of the Edgar Wright movies, they're endlessly rewatchable. Uh, it's got it's it's a fun horror movie, and I think honestly, I don't know if many of you have not checked it out at this point. But if you haven't checked it out, uh, so yeah, what about you, Will? What's your number two? I'm gonna uh, share my number two. With, uh, did I already do, I didn't do Halloween already, did I? Well, no, you mentioned, we, when I pulled this up, you, I I noticed that you saw Halloween on there, so. Well, I, it was already, uh, Halloween 1 or 2 are on my list, but I, I like The Shining. All those, I'm going to put those under uh, honorable mentions, and I'm going to go with American Psycho. Is that, as, I, as your number two? Yeah, man, okay. I really, like the original Psycho cons- was uh, good, but American Psycho, it, it just, yeah, man. It was kind of like falling down mixed with uh, even more violence. Like, he just really let loose. Uh, uh, Wikipedia considers American Psycho a black comedy horror film. Why does it got to be black? Well, that's because it's dark. Oh, <laughs> I'm just joking. I know what that means. I know. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, no, I uh, like I said, I'll have to go back and revisit American Psycho. It, I haven't seen it in a while. It's a, it's a great film. Um, Abby actually uh, dressed up as uh, uh, the dude from American Psycho. Amateur, <laughs> <laughs> dude, and he is like, he, I love the he, the music that he's like obsessed with. Yeah, the throughout. top forties hits. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, that's a, that's a good one for sure, and that's another one that sort of like has fun with the whole, uh, you know, horror element to it. But, I mean, they all have fun. I mean, they have fun in The Shining, right? Well, that's for me. That's like okay. So like, if I can redeem myself any, any at all with my top three, my number one is The Shining uh, from what is it, nineteen eighty. Um, this movie, uh, you know, The Shining. I'm kind of obsessed with The Shining. If you, I, I didn't know if you knew that about me. Um, I saw uh, not to uh, invade invade your time. I, I saw that movie at like it's this nursing hospital that's closed down and it's all creepy. You go through there and they haven't really fixed it up and they were like selling these tickets and then so you go through it and you watch the movie in there. Yeah, no, oh, there's no electricity. We took like a little tour at dusk and then in the uh, kind of patio area or the front lawn, they pull up the screen and we watch the movie out there. Nice and spooky. Then there was like some uh, creepy, steam, man. steam gutter punk kids. They were kind of uh, vagrants uh, they were kind of, you know, trying to come in and, you know, pickpocket people and eat our food. Oh, wow. That, that made Where it was better. this? Was this, this, this in town? Yeah, this was in Memphis. Wow. Well, um, that sounds pretty creepy. It was awesome. I loved it. That's, yeah. And then there was uh, like a weird uh, kind of car. We didn't know if it was like a shady uh, drug deal or, you know, some people just going on a date. 
<laughs> just trying to get a little smooch. This is a little, little smooch smooch. But no, uh, getting back to The Shining, um, this is one of those, uh, you know, Stephen King adaptation. And it's one of those ones that he actually hated because it is so different from the novel. Uh, but I think in the best possible way. I don't know a whole lot about the book. I know the differences between the book and the movie. And if, and if you were to ask me, I would, I would say the movie is better. Uh, Stanley Kubrick, who, you know, did uh, some pretty amazing films uh jack nicholson uh this is if I, if I, I think this is the movie that got him the joker role if i'm not mistaken probably but jack nicholson and cheats because he's not really acting when he plays crazy that's true because he kind of bust out you know windshields with golf clubs <laughs> little nuts no jack nicholson uh as good as i think he's ever been in in the shining and this movie just like i didn't know mu- i didn't care much about the shining i knew much i knew a little bit about it I knew kind of, I knew the vibe, I knew that it was a book, then they turned it into a movie, whatever. But there is actually, there's a documentary called Room, why can't I think of, uh, Room 237, which is, I know some some people out there who are listening to this may may know the documentary I'm talking about, and they probably think I'm crazy for the fact that I'm so obsessed with this, but... Room 237 is, 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 is what it is, is it actually, it's like five or six different people who are being interviewed, who all have a different interpretation of what the shining means, what, what it actually, it's a metaphor for something, you know, for something else. Mm -hmm. And some people think it's a, it's Stanley Kubrick's, uh, you know, him admitting that he is the one who directed the fake moon landing footage. And this is him sort of like telling the world that he directed the, the, the moon conspiracy. Uh, some people think that this is his movie sort of apologizing for the fact that uh, white people came over to this country and slaughtered Native Americans and the Native American uh, genocide. Uh, some people think, what else? There's so, dude, there's some crazy ones. Um, but they some all- people think he's the reason for cancer. So there's there's Seven Eleven was a part time job. There's a part. There's a bunch of different crazy theories in that movie, but and I will admit some of them are wild and insane, and they don't make much sense. But is what, there any Russian collusion? No, 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 no Russians. Um, at least I don't think so. Uh, but what it did is for me is it actually opened my eyes to the fact that the uh, Shining can actually be interpreted many different ways depending on how you watch it and i don't think there is one real answer as to why that movie is as crazy as it is and what the movie's really about um like i mentioned with some of these theories from room 237 some of them don't make sense but some of them you watch this freaking documentary and uh you kind of open your eyes a little bit and realize like hey maybe maybe that is what he's trying to convey obviously no one knows because uh kubrick's obviously not with us anymore but um, the, uh, the shining man, it, you get something, at least in my opinion, you get something different out of it. Every single time you see it, you notice something that you didn't notice before. And it just raises it. It's one of those things for me that it, it raises more questions than it answers. Yeah. Who's watching those little girls and why are they always in the hallway? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a crazy movie, but in the best possible way, because it also is like super creepy and it just gets under your skin and it's my favorite horror movie by far and yeah so that's that's my top three uh and i think uh hopefully my top you know my number one sort of redeemed maybe the fact that i didn't have i think you're i think you're fine like you you feel bad about your choices but those are movies you like and i like they are movies i I like yeah i I liked every uh movie i mean i own zombie land and i think i don't own zombie land i wish i did i i have it on 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 blu-ray azul ray (laughs) azul i like that anyways if uh so did you did you know the lessons from zombie land always do cardio and and pretty girls will lie to you and leave you for dead. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Several times they'll smile, you'll take them back, and they'll leave you for dead. Always, always have a way out. Um, Buckle up. Enjoy the little things. Twinkies. <laughs> Twinkies. <laughs> Double Man, tap for Woody, sure. Woody Harrelson in that movie, dude, he's so good. And then the little Bill Murray cameo, dude, that's yeah. that's the best. But anyways. <gasps> uh, <laughs> 
What uh, what's your what's your uh favorite horror movie for, Numero uno. for today that you can think of? Will uh, I, I had this one ready? Uh, Collector. It, Collector. It's a, yeah, the Collector. It's a movie that stayed with me. Not familiar with the Collector. I think we should pull Other- up that trailer and you should watch it on here, and then show the people. It's it's a, it's a movie because when I watch a horror movie or a thriller, I don't want there to be a happy ending. Because Is this it? Yeah. The collector always takes one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare for greatness. 2009. I remember this poster, but I've never seen the movie. Picking the lock. Is that a baby? <laughs> this is great podcast material. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, weird masks like creep me out, man. Yeah, that's what's good about it. Huh. The Collector. Not uh, Guillermo Guillermo del Toro Mm -mm. from the MCU. Mm -hmm. I might have to check that out, man. I uh, I remember the poster, but I've never seen the movie. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, I didn't see it at the movies. Uh, my buddy told me about it, and he was like, "Oh man, it's good." I was like, "Whatever." So I watched it, and I liked it because it was it was different. Like there's there's, I mean, you're expecting a a criminal to save you, which which is weird. There's someone in your house there to essentially just kidnap and kill you, uh, or you know, part of you. Uh, <laughs> You know, or collect pieces of you. And then there's a guy breaking in to just rob you. And, you know, you turn to the Talk guy. Talk about a bad day. Yeah, I mean, he's like, oh, you can save us. You're not even going to think about why is he in here? Or they're working together? So, I mean, you're like, you're darned if you do, darned if you don't. And right. I, I like that aspect. I mean, it's not a happy ending. Just a spoiler on that one. And that's what I love about it. I think I've only seen it like once or twice. Really? But yeah. it's your favorite. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it, it's definitely well, my favorite right now. I mean, right. Yeah. I mean, uh, when I think of a movie when I want to watch a, a scary movie or, or a horror, that, I, that was the one I would. Right. Bring up. When it comes to lists and stuff like that, like I, you know, I, it could be tomorrow. I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of you're like Babadook? Never oh. Yeah. I've never seen the Babadook, but I've heard good things. American uh, Werewolf in Paris. Exactly. But, um, like I always like to say on the show here, guys, at the end of the day, it isn't what we say or what we have to say. It is what I say. Or it is what Will says, but it also, it's what you guys think. So, um, we'll that. let us know what you guys thought about our uh, little gambling sort of lists here and uh, tell us what you guys thought as well as maybe tell us what your top three favorite horror movies are uh, just in time for Halloween. 